So on this journey we are going to leave Mukurawa waters, head back through Wellington to Dubbo. From Dubbo we continue north to Gilgandra and we head west out to Kalai Hotel. All right, now we're leaving Kolai Hotel. We're heading east back to Gilgandra. Then as you can see the black line, and we're on roads that we've been on before. We head north through Canamble, following the highway through Walgett, and up to Lightning Ridge. to the ridge.
thanks for tuning in to another episode. So Lightning Ridge, it's a uh, unique, definitely unique. Um, you have to be open-minded. If you don't go in with an open mind, you're probably not going to like it. It's um, very different. Um, but everyone was very lovely and friendly. Everyone wants to teach you about the open mining and understanding, understanding it. Um, especially, you know, they want to definitely want to fill kids' minds with as much information as possible. Um, we also head over to the hot bars, the artesian ball bars, while we um, were there and. definitely hotter than the Piliga ones. Um, was that 40 to 45 degrees? There is a big main pool and then there's like just a little one that you can sit in um, and stuff. Luckily we got once again wet weather. Um, we got a wet day and we went on the wet day because the first day was sinking hot. Um, so yeah definitely the cooler day was the nicer day to go. Absolutely massive. 
to put it into perspective, the caravan park we stayed in, the Opal Caravan Park, which is 200 metres from the ball bars, by what I could work out, they had well over 150 sites, camp spots, plus um, cabins, and there's en suite sites. Ensuite, en suite sites, yeah, en suite sites. Then they've also got a camping area right down the back. Um, and we were told by numerous people that in those cooler months, Easter and that, the place is packed. And like, it was probably the whole time where you there, you probably no more than 10 each night. Yep. It was quieter the first night and then by our third night there was more than the first night but and they spread everybody out no one's on top of each other all your sites are drive-through sites um yeah the amenities are clean oh beautiful amenities. plenty of room probably the second best amenities we've been to on our travels so broken far. broken hill still has number one Tourist Park at Broken Hill. But there's a close second. And, um, yeah, there's no, the only probably hard part is the ground is very, very hard. So if you don't have good, strong tent pegs, if you've got to put in anything, any sort of tent peg, they're not going into the ground. It's got their own tap and grey water. Just quite like um, where you put your grey water. Yeah, there's even a um, car wash bay which I utilised. But uh, first time ever washing your car with bull water. Oh, what a pain in the bottom that was. Yeah, so I'll be um, avoiding that again. I'll wait to somewhere where we've got all the fresh water or normal water because. Yeah, it was a hard job, but the cruise is clean again. Hi guys, it's finally been one month that we have been on the road and this is our highlight. My highlight is Gunada, which is the... Dorothy McKellen McKellar Silo Art and Lightning Ridge there's too many to describe like the walk-in mine the car door tours the opals heaps of things and here is what Mum found for her highlights. All right, so my highlights have been the silo art that we have found along the way. Um, so that is the Dorothea McKellar and the history that was connected to that. Along with, there was silo art at Walgett. Um, so then there was a bit more history there with uh, Jimmy Little. Then we discovered some more history uh, about Banjo Patterson at Stuart Town. And then moving on, Lightning Ridge uh, was also very interesting, all the different things. And uh, with opal mining, um, plus the ball baths uh, as well. I did not like the ball baths. Dad, what are your highlights for the First month, New South Wales. Um, no real standout highlights except for not having to wake up and go to work every morning. So that's a bonus. Um, having to put up with you two every day. And Bullfed. If you could call them highlights. <laughs> um, but no, look, I've, I've enjoyed everything so far. Going to Lightning Ridge was a bit of an eye-opener. Um, yeah. 
yeah, so far the whole trip's been good. All right, and that draws us to the end of our current travels around New South Wales, everyone. So do yourself a favour and get out there and explore New South Wales and see what it has to offer. It's a pretty big state and there is lots to see and do. We still haven't covered all of it. And so stay tuned and hang in for what we get up to in Queensland.